Good evening, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together. We enter in his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. The Bible says we are to be thankful unto him. Who is him? God. Amen. The Lord God Almighty and bless his name. Why are we thankful? Because the Lord is good. Somebody say he's good. Amen. You may even be having a bad day, but God is still good. Amen. It may be a bad season, but God is still good. And so we enter in and we worship him because he's good and his mercy endures forever. And so we're living on the mercies of God, mercies that's been around much longer than we have. And so I'm thankful uh, to the Lord for our being here, thankful to the Lord for our fast. How many of you been staying with the fast? Been sticking with it, amen, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. How, how many of you say it's, it's been a little rough? <laughs> I, I thought I was going to miss it today. I had a lot going on today, and I was like, oh, no, I need, some, I need some food, I need some energy. But I pressed my way, and I'm, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. It's been a, um, a blessing for me uh, to just, you know, I'm not a big TV person anyway, but uh, it's been a blessing for me to have this time of, uh, of a consecrated fast. How many of you have seen or any of you have seen any blessings that have come out of the fast thus far for you? Amen. Anybody want to share one? Because, I mean, we're going to go into prayer, but I want to give you a minute. Anything you want to share? Anybody want to say? Uh-huh, come on. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Turn it off. Uh-huh. Uh, I can just feel yokes being broken and chains being broken. Mm -hmm. uh, there is more peace in my home. Praise the Lord. Uh, everybody is kind of coming on one accord. Uh -huh. And I, I can't put my finger on it specifically, but prayers are being answered. Amen. And I Amen. feel it. I Amen. feel it. And I thank God for it. Amen. Amen. Anybody else? Anybody else see any breakthroughs? Yes, ma'am. Uh-huh. I've just received clarity mm -hmm. on some things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it, the Lord just said, you in a season. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Don't complain. Don't do Realize. You might have been going through it for a while, but Carolyn, you're just in a season. Yeah, yeah. So with that, I have a whole different attitude about Praise it. Praise the Lord. And I'm just grateful. Wow. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Anybody else? Yeah, absolutely. Just sit right there. But I praise God for healing my body. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. Yes, indeed. I was, yeah. I was messed up for a while. Mm -hmm. I had so much pain that I just didn't think I was going to make it. My Lord. But God stepped in. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The prayers of the righteous avail it much. Amen. Amen. Thank everybody for praying for me. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. One day I'll tell the whole story, but I'm going to make it <laughs> short today. <laughs> we just praise God for your healing. Amen. That's enough right there. That's enough right there. Anybody else? Anybody got any testimonies of things you've seen through the fast? I think that clarity thing is going around. There are some things that um, I, I was just didn't have an, an answer for. But I'm telling you, God gave me an answer, uh, gave me clarity, perspective, and I, it even directed where I, uh, where I needed to pray and how I needed to change the direction of my prayer uh, based on the clarity that God gave me. I woke up and I just started. I didn't have my journal because we were out of town, but I was putting it in my phone because uh, God just kind of 
just, you know, how, how something that was foggy, something you couldn't really see your way through, and God just seemed like the fog lifted, and you're like, oh, okay, that's what it is. That's what it is. And so that was my blessing. I got a that's what it is blessing. Amen, amen. And so the Bible talks about hard things come by fasting and prayer. And so there have been some places in all of our lives that have been difficult, challenging. Even a season can be a long, difficult season. And so we want you to believe God for the breakthrough in this season and, and in whatever you're going through. We want you to believe God for miracles. Don't forget the sowing because you are sowing even in this time of fasting. This is a seed being sown. And so you may not reap that harvest in the month of March, but long, you know, down in June, July, you may see the fruit of this fast. And so don't you forget about it. Don't, don't, don't allow the enemy to tell you that it was for nothing. This is a, a seed being sown of you spending the time in praying, in fasting, turning your plate down, turning off social media uh, to allow the Lord to speak to you. For you to speak to him, but more importantly, for him to speak to you. And so I, I hope that even while you're praying, that you spend some time, and that was my blessing today, spend some time just being in the silence. In, in, don't, don't run from the silence. Don't run from the quietness of the time with God. Everything doesn't need to be you rapid-firing scriptures. Everything doesn't need to, because God, first of all, God already knows, all right? He already knows. You're praying because you need the release, all right? And you're praying because it increases your faith. You're giving him back his word to put him in remembrance of his word because you need to say it to him more than he really needs to hear it, right? Uh, but don't be afraid of time with God just in the silence as a culture of people we run from silence we we're always wanting things to be loud and clamorous we're always wanting things to be on the move but but God speaks in a still small voice and sometimes we can't hear him because we're too busy talking so it, it finds some time I know many of us are working and you're trying to to do it, you know, in between, you know, on lunch breaks and all that. But find some time, whether it's morning or evening, find some time to get along with the Lord without any distractions, without TV, all of that, and hear from God. Somebody say, I'm going to hear from God. Amen, amen. And so tonight we are um, uh, praying uh, for over our finances. That's the prayer director tonight and I also want to acknowledge Bishop he is in the building y'all he is in the last phase of uh, his dissertation uh, and getting ready to defend amen I, I think it's April 10th so we just got to pray him on through and uh, I, I told him you're gonna be fine I said I know what it was like I was so nervous had so much going on but uh, he's in that final phase and we're gonna pray him through the stretch but he is on the campus uh, but tonight, we're praying over our finances. How many of you need a financial blessing? Amen. Amen. If, if you don't need one, you ought to want one. Amen. Because the more God blesses you, the more you can be a blessing to somebody else. Amen. Uh, you know, people say, well, you know, I don't, I don't really care about money. You should. <laughs> Bible says money answers all things. And it's not necessarily for your greed. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about so that you can have, as 1 Corinthians talks about, all sufficiency, right? So that when something is, is, is uh, needed, when a, a project goes forth, when somebody comes your way, you will have an adequate amount to take care of yourself and help somebody else and give to other causes. Amen. So we got to change our perspective on having resources uh then we're going to pay pray for debt elimination and financial freedom how many of you need some debt eliminated amen and so financial freedom to do what you want to do when you want to do it amen and 
We're going to be praying over our investments. Amen. If you don't have any, we're going to pray that you get some. <laughs> you got to get some seed in the ground. Amen. And then we're going to pray over businesses uh, because we know that uh, that is so important that, that the Lord says he'll prosper what we put our hands to. So we're going to have someone coming praying over our businesses as well. And so let's look to the Lord. And you know what? What I want to do a little differently tonight than we've done uh, before. Uh, as we prepare, as we prepare to, to pray in the area of our finances, we're going to anoint our hands. We're going to anoint our hands. And, and that way, whatever we're praying over, if it applies to you, your hands are already anointed. Amen. And so I got a, a several vows, and we're just going to. Uh, I always used to do this, pass it around. Y'all can anoint your hands. Don't drench them because we got to. <laughs> so don't drench them. I'm just trying to make sure that everybody's hands are anointed. If you got your own oil, that's fine. You got. Don't drench them. Don't waste oil on the carpet. All of that. Amen. We got some over there on that side too. Amen. Woo! Praying for what comes through our hands. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We have to have a level of expectancy. We have to have a level of faith to believe God. And he'll prosper what you put your hands to. That's, what's, that's coming through your hands. I said, Lord, thank you for what's coming in, but then let, don't let it flow out of me too quick. I need something to come and stick. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Everybody anointed their own hands. The aroma of prosperity. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And so in the area of our finances, in the area of our finances, Deuteronomy 28 and 8 says, the Lord will command the blessings on you. Somebody said, the Lord will command the blessing on me. It says, in your storehouses and all to which you set your hands. Somebody wave your hand. And he will bless you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you. Deuteron Deuteronomy 28 and 12 says, the Lord will open to you his good treasure. Say, the Lord will open to me his good treasure. It then says, the heavens to give the rain to your land in its season and to bless all the works of your hand. Raise your hands. Come on, wave them hands. See how much it's talking about our hands? You shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. Then it says, and the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. You will be above and not beneath. If you heed the commandments of the Lord, uh, your God, which I command you this day, uh, and are careful to observe them. All right, and so tonight we're going to talk, we're going to pray first over just a general prayer over our finances. Let's look to the Lord. Father, how we thank you tonight. We thank you, oh God, that for the, the commanded blessing that you say that you will put over our lives. God, we thank you that you will command, you will order, you will commission, you will charge the blessing over our lives. In other words, you'll send the blessing. You'll order resources to find us. You will give charge over people so that they will come our way and bless us financially. We thank you tonight for the commanded blessing. Father, you said there'll be a blessing over our storehouses. God, we thank you, oh God. The psalmist said, God, that, that wealth and riches would be in our house. 
Lord, that we will have the resources that we need, that there will be plenty and not lack. Oh, God, there will be abundance and not limitations. We thank you tonight for the commanded blessings. You said that you set at, over our hands, God, and we lift our hands. Oh, God, for you to bless our hands as we have anointed them. Bless our finances, oh, God, everything that is related to us because we know finances is larger than money. Finances is not just dollars and cents, but finances have to do with the economy of our lives. And, God, that has to do with our credit. That has to do with our income. That has to do with the, how much we make an hour, how much we make a year, how much we make a month. We thank you, God, that you will command. Hallelujah. And we're looking for the commanded blessing. We know we got supervisors and we got managers, but we believe that you set our income. We thank you for it tonight. We thank you for it tonight. Some of us have endured bad credit, but you, the commanded blessing will order a change even in our credit score. And we thank you tonight because we want our name to be good. Our name to be good with transunion. Our name to be good with Experian. Come on, we want our name to be good with Equifax. God, that is, has to do with our finances. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we bless you tonight that you said you'll open up your good treasure. Somebody ought to shout good treasure. Your heavenly treasure. You'll open up the vault, God. And you said you will let it rain down on us. And so God, in the vault of heaven is everything we need. In the vault of heaven is everything, oh God, that we want. And so, God, we pray that the, that the doors, the windows of heaven would be thrown open now in the name of Jesus to supply every need in our finances, to supply every need, oh God, whether it's related to tuition tonight. Somebody in here may be going to school and they need tuition. Somebody in here may be buying a house and they need a down payment. Whatever it is about our finances, we pray over them tonight. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, you said you would give us the desires of our heart. And our desire, oh God, tonight is for economic stability. We don't want to be up and down in our finances. We don't want to be wondering and hoping that things will work out. We want stability in our finances. We want financial security. In the name of Jesus. Oh, we bless you tonight. Oh, God, we don't want to ever be in a position where we have to beg or borrow. We don't ever want to be in the position, oh, God, where we, we're in need and we don't have a resource. God, we believe you for resources. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We lift our hands. Come on, lift your hands. Bless God. Whatever's coming through our hands. Give us the knowledge and wisdom to manage our money in the name of Jesus. And God, when it comes through our hands, we pray that some will stick with us. We don't want to be a people that everything is going out and nothing is staying with us. We want to be a people that has savings, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And God, that, that flows back out. We want it to multiply. We want it to increase. We want it to be exponentially, God, expanded in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm a living witness tonight that you'll make us the head and not the tail. You'll make us the lender and not the borrower. I'm a living testimony tonight that you'll increase us in our finances. God, that we'll be able to walk into stores and get what we want. And not be afraid to, of being rejected. In the name of Jesus, we won't have to watch our money every Friday. Because we'll have enough and more than enough. Come on, shout enough and more than enough. We won't be penny pinching in Jesus' name. That we'll flourish, we'll prosper, and we'll live in abundance. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. We'll have 
so much that we'll be able to give to others and not even have to worry about it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We'll turn down credit cards because we got enough. Thank you, Lord. Turn down loans because we don't even need them. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, we give you glory. That's the covenant blessings. That's the covenant blessings. Hallelujah. And we'll eat the good of the land. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we bless your name. Oh, God, with expectancy, we bless your name. And we give you praise. Hallelujah. That we won't even know what broke is like anymore. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Check hit the bank and we won't even have to worry about it. Because we already had money already in there. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we decree and we declare it in the name of Jesus. According to our faith, be it unto us. In Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God said, amen. amen. Come on, put those hands together. Anybody a believer tonight? Come on, I'm a person that had to walk this thing out. I'm passionate about it because I had to walk it out. I had to believe God with a grocery sack full of bills that one day I would be able to live as a lender and not a borrower. That one day I would be able to walk in any store I wanted to and get what I wanted. Hallelujah. That I would have to be, able, be willing to say no to myself because there would be nobody over on the other side of a counter telling me no. I'm telling you what I had to believe God for. Maybe you've never been denied for anything. Maybe you've never stood at a counter not sure if they were going to approve you for something. But I've been in that place. But I believe God and I walked it out and I've seen God put me in a place. So folk can talk about prosperity all they want to. I serve a God of abundance. I serve that kind of God. And he said, I got a cattle on a thousand here. The silver and the gold all belong to me. Look at somebody and tell them you don't have to walk around broke. You got a God of resources. He's the source, but he'll give you resources in Jesus' name. All right, we're going to go now to debt elimination and financial freedom. Derek is going to come and lead us into debt elimination and financial freedom. I need you to walk heavy, sir. I need you to walk heavy. Walk like you know him tonight. Amen, amen, amen. God is good, and God is able. So we're going to start out right in the same vein, understanding that God is more than able to transform our lives. We're going to start out with Proverbs 22. The rich ruleth over the poor, and the borrower is a slave to the lender. Father God, in the name of Jesus, help us to renew our minds to where we can understand that we are really blessed. Father, give us the self-control and the discipline to manage our finances. Give us the discipline not to live beyond our means. Shift us in our cash flow into another realm, Father God. Father God, shift us to where we're walking in the kingdom principles. Father God, the kingdom, Father God, you are a king and we are king's kids. Father God, give us the things that we are entitled to. We come to you because everything is yours. Father God, you control all things. Father God, we're coming to you today, Father God, asking you, Father God, to shift us into a new place. Shift our minds, renew our minds to where we can receive the things of God. Father God, we're coming trusting you today on this day, Father God, that you're going to increase our capacity. Father God, increase our capacity to receive the things of God. Father God, increase our capacity, Father God, that we will understand, Father God, that you are more than able. 
Father God, give us ideas, Father God. Give us witty inventions, Father God. Give us creative ideas, Father God. Father God, help us, Father God, shift from where we are. Father God, some of us just need just a little more increase. Some of us need hundreds of thousands of dollars. Father God, shift us from realm to realm to realm, Father God. Father God, bless us beyond, Father God, where we can imagine or whatever we ever could think. Father God, in Proverbs 21, it says, The plans of the diligent lead to profit. As surely as hasty leads to poverty. Father God, we ask you for plans. And Father God, we ask that we be diligent, Father God. Diligent in the things that you show us, Father God. Give us a sensitivity, Father God, that we may discern, Father God, the things that you're telling us, Father God. Bring our name up in boardrooms, Father God. Bring our names up in banks and financial facilities, Father God. Let them understand we are the head and we're not the tail, Father God. Father God, show us, Father God, the way that we should walk, Father God. Holy Spirit, guide us into truth, Father God. The Holy Spirit, have your way, Father God. Holy Spirit, speak to us, Father God, so we understand the principles are given. Speak to us so we know as we give, we shall receive. Father God, shift us, Father God, from the mentality for we think we got to hold on to everything. Help us to understand that if we would let it go, you can get it back to us, Father God. Shift us, Father God, to where we can know, Father God, you are, you are in control of all things. Give us inventions, Father God. Help us be walk in family like family royalty, Father God, because we are a part of royalty. Father God, let us hold our heads up. Let us believe that you are the King of kings. Let us believe that you are the Lord of lords. Father God, give us greater understanding of the stocks, ETFs, and dividends. Father God, help us with our 401ks. Father God, tell us where to invest these investments. Father God, give us 20 and 30% increases on our in retirements, Father God. Help us, Father God, to help others, Father God. When we come into the light, help us to lead our other brothers into the light. Father God, so when we come out, don't forget about our brethren. Father God, as we've come up with ideas and share them with one another, help us to encourage one another, Father God, to walk in those things. In Proverbs 10 and 22, it reads, The blessing of the Lord bringeth wealth without any pain or toil for it. We thank God for blessings. We thank God that we won't have to fight for it. We thank God that things are going to overtake us. The blessings of the gods uh, overtake us. Father God, we thank you, Father God, that the blessings trying to chase us down. Father God, don't just give us wealth. Don't just give us finances, but give us wealth, Father God. Father God, we need generational wealth, Father God. We need money that's going to last for generation to generation to generation. Father God, align us with the kingdom, Father God. Help us, Father God, that we can get inheritances, Father God. Father God, inheritance that were lost, Father God. Allow them to find us in the kingdom, Father God. Allow these things that belong to us. Allow the wealth of the wicked to be that stored up for the righteous to be released. Father God, in the name of Jesus, release the wealth to us, Father God. Release the things that we need, Father God, to shift, Father God. Re let this fast, Father God, reveal things to us, Father God, that you're telling us. Give us a stillness within our spirit that we may discern your voice. Help us to discern your voice as you tell us to go left and you tell us to go right. Father God, help us when you tell us to be still. Help us to be still. Father God, when you tell us to invest, help us to invest. Father God, connect us with other kingdom mindset people. Father God, give us a kingdom mindset. Father God, our mindset has to change. Father God, change our mindset to know, Father God, that we operate in a kingdom principle. And when we operate in the kingdom principles, the things that you have entitled to us, the things that you have willed for us to have, Father God, we will receive those things. Father God, today we stand here in the receiving mode, Father God. We've anointed our hands, Father God. We're believing in our heart, Father God. We're confessing that you are God. Father 
Father God, we need the things that you have entitled for us to have in the kingdom. Father God, we are the blessing, Father God. Bless us to be a blessing. Father God, let us understand, Father God, that we are blessings. Father God, and we're blessed to be a blessing. Father God, help increase us, Father God. Increase our understanding in finances. Increase our understanding in the church, Father God, the things and the principles of tithes and offering. Father God, understand, Father God, you're just trying to get the blessing to us, Father God. If we would just submit and obey thy, rule, obey thy laws and thy commandments, Father God, you will give us the things, Father God, the very desires of our heart. Father God, help us, Father God, in this place, Father God. Help us by giving us plans and help us to be diligent in the things that you've called us to do. Lead us to the place that it's going to cause us to profit, Father God. Help us, Father God, in our families, Father God. Help us, Father God, that we may create generational wealth. Because generational wealth is what you called us and commanded us to have, Father God. You have commanded us to have blessings, Father God, to our children's children, Father God. That speaks generational wealth. Father God, we need the generational wealth so we can manifest thy kingdom here on earth. Let thy kingdom come. Let thy will be done on earth, on earth. Father God, we're calling the finances from heaven to earth, Father God. We're pulling on the spiritual realm that the things that are in the spirit shall manifest theirself in this physical earth. Father God, we're calling for the finances. Father God, we're calling for health. Father God, we're calling for all the things that we need to get to our purpose, Father God. Father God, everything that this house or this house of faith needs to fulfill the vision that has been given. Father God, as you increase us, Father God, the vision here will continue to increase. Father God, we're the people that you placed here, Father God. Bless us so we can bless the house, Father God. Bless us so we can bless the men of God, Father God, and the women of God. Father God, bless this house, Father God. Give us the needed finances, Father God, to shift us into a new dimension. Father God, it's time for us to go to a new dimension. Father God, it's time for us to enter new places in you. Father God, it's time for us to have the wealth, Father God. It's time for us to have the 850 credit score, Father God. It's time for us to not worry when we go in the banks, Father God. It's time for us to have all the things that we desire, Father God. Help us, Father God, to be that very light. Father God, so when we stand, Father God, illuminating the very light, that people see the wealth and the blessing upon us. Father God, we are the ones that you've called to be blessed. Father God, bless us, Father God. Help us to understand how to manage the finances when we're in the kingdom. Father God, help us to understand, Father God, those that you've called us to be a blessing to, Father God. Father God, help us, Father God, with plans, Father God. Help us with disciplines and self-control, Father God. Help us that we don't squander what you give us, Father God. Father God, help us, Father God, that we may be a blessing, Father God. Father God, help us, Father God, that wealth will continue to come to us. Father God, help us, Father God, that the, the efforts and the things that we need in order to get the things that you've called us to be blessed, that it will come like Proverbs 10 and 22 says, the blessing of the Lord brings wealth without pain or toil. Father God, we're ready to shift past just dollars and cents to wealth, Father God. When wealth comes, we can give and don't even think about it, Father God. We can show up and know and be asking, who needs a blessing? Father God, we need to be able to help people when we see them in need, Father God. Father God, give us a sensitivity of the spirit, Father God, that as you speak, Father God, we shall move, Father God. Father God, we know the Holy Spirit's going to guide us into all truth. Father God, we're leaning on you, Father God, to deliver us, Father God. We're leaning on you to shift us economically, Father God. Father God, it don't matter what the world is going through, Father God, because we're a part of a kingdom. Father God, we're part of a kingdom, Father God. We live by kingdom principles. Father God, we don't, we don't live by the worldly principles. We don't live by the things of the world. So whatever the world is saying, Father God, we're saying what the kingdom says. We shall not live in lack. We shall be the head and not the tail. We shall be above and not believe. We shall have the things that God has promised us. We shall be those that lend, Father God, and not borrow. Father God, we just thank you, Father God, for let us be in the lenders and not the borrowers. Father God, we thank you for wealth. 
We thank you for generational wealth. We thank you, Father God, for ideas. We thank you for ETFs, dividends, and 401ks, and stocks, and Father God, we thank you that our name's going to come up in boardrooms. We thank you, Father God, that we're going to get promotions in the name of Jesus. Amen, 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 amen. Come on, put those hands together. Thank you, Lord. Come on, raise your hand. Raise your hand. Say, I'm releasing debt. Debt is leaving my life. I'm walking into financial freedom. And you know, one of the things that as I was sitting there and Derek was praying, I was praying. I'm asking the Lord for a supernatural cancellation. Supernatural cancellation. Don't tell me it can't happen. It's happened to me. Supernatural cancellation. I'm talking where I, 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 I know it can happen. That there are some things that have happened and you, you had very good intentions of paying and life just happened and you got overwhelmed. But how many of you know that God can move upon your creditors to write it off? He can move upon them. Now I'm telling you, it can happen to write some things off. And so those of you, and I'm believing God for even these student loans. I know we've been warring for the student loans and, and you can see heaven trying to move on our behalf. We can see heaven move, trying to move on our behalf. And how many of you know the enemy just don't want it to happen? Uh-huh. But we're just going to keep pressing because the kingdom of, of God suffers violence. But what? The violence taken by force. And so it's not over yet. And so you just keep believing. Those of you who are looking for, keep paying your bills now. Don't just stop paying your bills. But we're going to believe God that God will override some things that have been standing against you some things that have been standing on your 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 uh uh credit report we're believing him for some supernatural cancellation amen it can i'm telling you to happen now I'm telling you it'll happen and so our next prayer our next prayer is going to be uh for investments somebody say investments prophetess is coming Amen. Amen. Uh, Proverbs 10 and 4 says, said with me, said the diligent hand brings wealth, but the idle hands brings poverty. Say a good person leaves an inheritance for their children's children, and a sinner's wealth is stored up for the righteous. Amen. You know, most of us, when we talk about investments as believers, our main two investments have been tithes and offerings. Amen. A lot of us got stock accounts, and a lot of us got a lot of things, but one of our main investments that we have invested in as kingdom believers, come on, lift your hands, has been my tithes and my offerings. Amen. We know stocks promise some things. Come on. Uh, we know 401ks promise some things, but they don't promise some things that, that tithes and offering promise. Amen. Come on, lift them hands. We have made some investments as the people of God in tithes. We got history of tithing, I tell you. According to the work of God, we got investments with tithes that's standing over our head, that's got some promises that America can't do nothing with. Come on. I'm talking about the tithes of the saints standing in the face of God. God told us to blow the trumpet in Zion. Come on. Our leaders have called a solemn fast. Come on said we come to blow the trumpet in Zion we come to bring up before the father two of the greatest investments that he's ever said to us one of them is the tithe and the other one is the offering don't play come on we come to sound the trumpet come on we standing in a Joel fast and the Joel fast said gather the people together sanctify a congregation come on tithers come on stand in this house he said come on in the name of Jesus he said gather the people he said, sanctify the congregation. He said, assemble the elders together. He said, bring them together. Let the priests come and stand between the porch and the altar. We come to bring our tithes up before the high priest of the universe. We come to stand in this place where God said, I'm going to send the corn 
and the oil. I'm going to send the raw oil in the name of Jesus. So I'm going to satisfy you and take away your reproach. Come on, say my offering is standing before the Lord. My tithes is my greatest investment. I've been investing 10% of my salary for years. Come on, look at somebody said 10% of my salary. I've been investing in the kingdom of God for years. And God told me not in the world to come, but in this world. Come on, y'all need to get up on investments. 10% been standing in the face of the high priest for years. Come on, come on, not just 2024, but 2023. Come on, open your mouth. 2022, come on, open your mouth. 2021, open your mouth. 2020, we've been tithing in good ground. Don't play with me. New life is a good place to bring it up before the Lord. Come on, say, my investment been my tide. Come on, look at somebody say, I got a right to be blessed. God said he opened the window of heaven. God said he'll pour out the blessing that can't nobody receive. I got a right to be fruitful. I got a right to multiply. I got a right to replenish. I got a right to subdue anything that come up on me. I got a right to have dominion. I got a right to call to me. Everything I'm looking for is looking for me. Come on, say I'm a tither. Come on out of that seat and tell somebody my investment of the tide is big. It's colossal. It's powerful. My tides is an investment. Come on, come on with a shout. Come on, new life believers. We are tithing church. We are tithing people. We've been taught tithes. We give tithes. They're standing in the face of the Father. Hallelujah. Come on, put that hand out. These are diligent hands because these are tithing hands in the name of Jesus. But not only do I tithe, I offer. Look at somebody say, I offer. Oh, my offering, God promised me seed, time, and harvest. Come on, open your mouth, say seed, time, and harvest. Tell somebody else, seed, time, and harvest. Tell somebody else, tell them seed, time, and harvest. Come on, tell somebody else, seed, time, and harvest. I got an investment standing before the Father. I'm blessed. Hallelujah. Now it's time for us to put our faith together. Since we sound in the trumpet, we've had 30-fold long enough. We've had 60-fold long enough. Come on with a shout for a hundred-fold. What's wrong with a hundred-fold? Glory to God. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Sanctify the fast. A hundred-fold in the house. A hundredfold return of the shout of victory in the house of diligent hands, diligent hands, investment in God, diligent hands. Glory to God. Hallelujah! 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 Glory! Glory to God. Hallelujah! We thank you for it, Father. You said in your word, hallelujah, that you're going to give us the former rain uh, and the latter rain at the first of the month. You said the floors will be full of wheat and the vats will flow with wine and oil. That you're going to restore back everything the canker worm, the palmer worm, and the caterpillar stole. You said we're going to be plenteous goods and said we're going to be satisfied. Look at somebody at the point said we're going to be satisfied. Said new life believer, said you're going to be satisfied. Your investments of tithes and offerings have come up before the nostrils of God and you're going to be satisfied. You're going to have plenteous and good. You're going to have wine. You're going to have oil and you're going to have corn. Come on, tell somebody you're going to have corn. You're going to have wine and you're going to have oil. You're going to have corn for substance. You're going to have wine that make it merry. You're going to have oil to anoint your body. Hallelujah in God. I got investments. I'm invested. I'm invested in God. In the name of Jesus. Glory. Come on, sound the trumpet. It's a Joel fast. 
Him. Sound the trumpet in Zion. For the congregation of God has come before your face. It's come before your nostrils. Sound the trumpet. Let the people hear it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at somebody and tell them I'm fully vested. Fully vested. Hallelujah. We decree and declare a hundredfold blessing in this house. A hundredfold blessing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Take your seats. Oh, didn't prophet is coming?